Did you know there's another procedure the credit brothers have to follow in this book right here? And if they don't, hey, you got them right where you want them. And you know me, I'm going to show you the procedure and I'm going to show you how to write that letter so you can knock them out. So that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get into it. So the credit bureaus have a procedure they have to follow, right? There's rules and regulations. There's a rules and regulations for everything, right? There's a rules and regulations when we go to school. There's rules and regulations when we go to work. There's rules and regulations when we drive in. There's rules and regulations for America, for the government, for the military. There's rules and regulations for everything. But guess what? There are also consequences as well. And if we don't follow those consequences, hey, things happen, right? Go to jail, things, tickets, things happen, right? Just like when we're driving and the speed limit is 45, there's consequences, right? If we go in 50, 60, but the speed limit is on 45, or we're going with 70, guess what? We get pulled over, guaranteed to get that ticket, right? Because we already know we were speeding, and guess what? The police officer gave us that ticket. But however, nobody's calling the credit bureaus out for all the things that they're not following, right? The procedures, because guess what? Most people are scared of the credit bureaus because they think that the credit bureaus are like police officers, but no, nah. Nah, they're not because they're in the business of making money. They don't care. They cut corners. They do whatever they got to do to make money. Once you understand that they do that, then that's a whole different mindset shift. And guess what? I'm going to show you how to knock them out real quick. I'm going to show you the procedure, but make sure you stay to the end so we can pinpoint the procedures and the letter. I mean, everything that you need to do, I'm going to show you how to write the letter so we can knock them out real quick. But most importantly, I want you to understand the rules and regulations so you can basically maneuver on things if this happened or this happened or whatever, right? Because I just want you to understand that this is a process. This is going to take time, but the work works. But if you give up, you're going to let the credit bureaus win. But we ain't let the credit bureaus win because guess what? We have the power. We're the consumers. We got everything. The credit bureaus need us. We don't need them. Just remember that. So make sure y'all grab y'all books, follow along, and just like the Bible, and we about to read, we about to learn something today. I want you to go ahead. If you don't have a book, I'm gonna put the link in the description for the actual law so you can have an understanding. Because what I want you to do is go back and read so you can have a better understanding. Because guess what? They put things in the book so we don't read and we don't follow along. But hey, things gonna change right now because you're watching this video. So go grab your book and hey, go grab your um I gotta say Bible, but go grab your book so you can have a better understanding, right? So the first law that we're going to basically break down, right? The first law we're going to break down, I'm going to pull it up on the screen so get read along with it. And I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to go over some definitions and terms as well because I'm, we have new people, new family members. But I want to break down some things so you guys have an understanding. Most importantly, there are steps, there's laws, there's procedures. And guess what? The credit bills ain't following. But guess what? We're going we're gonna to put them in place. So... Um, go to your table of contents and it's going to be, um, like I said, I'm going to post the link in the description, but I'm going to ask for the thing to follow along. But the, we're going to go to chapter, I'm saying the law, 15 USC, 1681, right? 623 and then, um, section eight. And, um, I'm like, I said, I'm going to post it for you, but most importantly, all right, we're going to go to letter E duty of person after receiving notice of dispute, after receiving the notice of Dispute from a consumer pursuant to subparagraph D, the person that provided the information in dispute to a consumer reporting agency shall. Hey, that word shall is very important, right? Shall conduct an investigation with the respect to the disputed information, right? Investigation. Now, we should already know what the word investigation, but if we don't know what the word, I'm going to go back to it and tell you a little bit what the word investigation means, right? Investigation, consumer report means a consumer report or portion thereof in which information on a consumer re on a consumer's character, general reputation, personal characteristics, mode of living is obtained through personal interviews with neighbor, friends, or associates of the consumer reported on, you know, I'm a, I ain't gonna read the whole thing, but that's when investigation. So they, when I say send a secret letter off, they have to do a proper investigation now. Conduct an investigation, right? They shall conduct a investigation with respect to the dispute information. Review all relevant provided by the consumer with the notice. You hear that? So they shall review all relevant information provided by the consumer with the notice. Also, they shall, they shall complete um, such person's investigation of the dispute and report the results of the investigation to the consumer before the expir expiration of the period under section 611A required um, um, within which a consumer report agency shall, I mean, agency would be required to complete its action if the consumer had elected to dispute the information under that section. 
And if the investigation find that the invest, um, the information reported was inaccurate, promptly notify each consumer reporting agency to which the, per the person furnished the inaccurate information of the determination and provide to um, the agency and correction to that information that is necessary to make the information provided by the person accurate. Woo! Hey, that was a lot of information, right? But most importantly, like I said, they shall, right? So they shall they have 30 days to investigate this consumer report, right? That's according to um, Section 611A when I said that. They have 30 days. And if you try to dispute again, they have 45 days. So this is why I tell you, don't send off another dispute. Let them do an investigation because what we want to happen is to come back. Now, now I'm about to show you how to write up this letter because we already know that they didn't follow along. They're not going to follow this procedure, but we already know it. So I'm going to show you everything you need to do so we can go ahead and knock them out real quick. All right, let's get into so it. So here's a letter. I'm basically breaking it down to you so you can go ahead and knock the credit bills out. So most importantly, you already know, add your name. If you don't know, add your name and add your address, right? And then put today's date. And then you're going to say Dare Experian, Dare Trader Junior, Dare Equifax, right? Um, either or, right? We'll create three separate letters. Um, I just ordered my credit report and wanted to make sure everything's reported accurately, right? Can you please investigate my consumer report and, and ensure everything is 100% correct, right? Please, can you do this? And also, can you make sure the open date, date lags active, and account balance are correct? Can you please do this? Because I know y'all really, really busy and I have a list of accounts below, right? So what you want to do is put the account name, account number, and then investigate this account on my consumer report and delete it if it's not reported accurately. You know, can you please do that? And then you want to go ahead and list all the accounts, right? The one that's your that's negative on your credit report. So whether it's open or closed, it's listed, right? So open student loan, bankruptcy, I mean open um account, whether it's a revolving account, credit card, or anything, put it on here. If it's reported inaccurately, if it's I mean if it's hurting your credit score where you have like multiple lates and it's open, you want to go ahead and remove it. All right. So account name, account number, and then what you wanna do is a put attach two forms of identification, and we're gonna send it certified to TransUnion, Experian and Equifax. So, and then one more thing, right? Investigate this account, but one more thing, all right? But, one more thing, can you send a copy of my investigation to the address below? We want that investigation to come back. Thank you in advance, um, then put the address. So, this letter is very, very, very important, right? Here's why, because we just read the procedure, right? We just read the procedure. There's rules and regulations the credit bureaus have to follow, and we're gonna hit them up when they don't follow them. So, when you send this letter off, they're supposed to do a proper investigation. And if they don't do a proper investigation, guess what the proper investigation? They're supposed to talk to friends, family. They're supposed to, and then file it on your credit. I mean, they're supposed to file it as well, but they're not gonna do none of that because guess what? They don't have the time, they cut corners. They're in the business of making money. So this is why this letter is very, very, very important. So make sure you send it certified, right? Send it to TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax at two forms of identification, right? Two forms, driver's license and proof of residency, right? Make sure you add that to all three and send it certified when you go to the post office and make sure you get a tracking number. But guess what? In the meantime, we're going to be waiting because it's a process. We got to wait on 30 days. Just like the procedure said, got to wait on 30 days for the investigation to come back. But in the meantime, here's what you need to be doing at this part. It's very, very, very important. This step is very important. I want you to watch this video right here. Once you watch this video right here, whew, it's going to be very, 